If you've ever thought that you had a good memory, you can put yourself to the test here because we're going to show you a range of memory puzzles. Stay until the end when we'll see if you can work out what happens when something is taken away. If this is your first time visiting the things, then what would be really good would be if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Today, we are going to show you nine out of 10 people fail this photographic memory test. Which logos are right? Sometimes we see things every day to the extent that we might actually not know when it's wrong. For instance, we all see company logos a lot, but how well do you really remember them? This next question is based on famous brand logos and their colors. First of all, we are going to show you the Pepsi logo. Pretty familiar, right? But which order do the colors go? Are they red, white, and blue, or blue, white, and red? Are you ready to give us your answer? It's red, white, and blue. Now which of these Google logos is right? No sneaking off to search for it. That's it. It's the one where both the first O and the E are red. Now, let's get interplanetary for a minute. We're going to show you the NASA logo, but is the blaze on the NASA logo pink or is it red? What do you think the answer is? We'll tell you now. It's red. Next up, we'd like you to deliver the right answer for which UPS logo is correct. Think you know? Well, it's the one with the darker lettering. And finally, we'd like to know which one of these visas is the one you'd find on your card. We'll tell you, it's the one with the blue writing. How many of them did you get right? It's harder than it seems. Can you remember? So, let's do our first memory test. We are going to show you a picture, then we are going to move on, and then we will ask you something about it. Are you ready? Here's the picture. Pay attention to it, study it, take in the details, and try to remember everything you possibly can about it. Memory is controlled by a part of our brains called the hippocampus. We reckon that's a bit of an unusual name. It usually comes from the Greek word meaning seahorse, because when the brain is dissected, it sort of looks like a seahorse. That's pretty gross, right? Anyway, the hippocampus is the part of the brain which is responsible for storing, processing, and creating our memories. With diseases that affect memory, the hippocampus is one of the first parts of the brain to be targeted. But while we were telling you all that interesting and important information, we hope that you were able to keep thinking about that picture we showed you. Now, what we want to ask you is how many cats were in the picture. You can pause our video here if you like, if that helps you remember. The answer to that question is seven. Did you get it right? If you did, then well done. And if you didn't, you shouldn't worry too much because that was a pretty hard question. Who's who? We're going to go back to give you a memory test based on a picture. You'll have to pay attention to it because we're going to ask you a question about it. Here's the picture. Make sure you take a really good look because this is all part of the test that we are doing in this video. We hope you're enjoying it, by the way. Did you know that perhaps the best memory in the world right now belongs to a man called Nishal Narayanam? Nishal is from Hyderabad, India, and he is one of the youngest chartered accountants in that country. He qualified when he was 19, two years before he could legally practice accountancy. But the reason we are talking about him today is that when he was just 13 years old, he held two spots in the Guinness Book of Records. He was able to memorize 132 digits in one minute, setting the record for the longest number sequence memorized in one minute. It. That meant he was a double world record holder because when he was 11, he held the record for the most random objects memorized, having remembered 225 random objects in 12 minutes. It's question time. Which of these figures in the picture was the only one that was bareheaded? What color was it and where was it in relation to the others? If you said the yellow one in the middle, you'd be right. The right words. Memory quizzes are a lot of fun. Well, we think that anyway, and we hope that you do too, but they can also be useful. Here's a test that book publishers Scholastic use to see if there's a problem with someone's short-term memory, possibly caused by using substances. There are 15 words, and you have to study them for a short period of time and then repeat them back or write them down. Those words are eggs, drawing, rock, apple, focus, mission, favor, brain, flag, trial, partner, house, life, chair, and ice. Seems pretty simple, doesn't it? But if you go off and give yourself a bit of time before you see if you can do it, and it just might get a little bit harder for you. So, can you remember the words? Pause this video and give yourself some time to write them all down. Don't take too long, but see if you can rack your brain for the answers. Here they are. Eggs, drawing, rock, apple, focus. 
mission, favor, brain, flag, trial, partner, house, life, chair, and ice. How did you do? Don't worry if you didn't get them all right. Interestingly, the normal number of words people get is usually somewhere between seven and nine. So if you manage to get more than that, you have a really good short-term memory. Emojis. One of the many things that have become incredibly popular and iconic in the last few years has been the emoji. With the rise of smartphones, we have seen an increase in the number of emojis that we can use. So what BuzzFeed journalist Ben Henry did as a memory test is brilliant. Brilliant. We love it, and we want to try it out on you. Here's the picture of the emojis that Ben used in his test. Take a good look at them and study them. You can pause the video here if you want. Are you ready to take our version of the test? We'd like to know what the emoji on the far left of the second row is. Now, we would like to know the one diagonally to the bottom right of that. After that, we wonder if you could remember what emoji was in the top right-hand corner of the picture, and also the one immediately to the left of that. Have you got those? There's two more, and that's the one in the middle of the bottom row, and the one immediately above and to the right. The answers are the heart with gift wrap, Santa Claus, headphone with music, lemon, crazy ghosts, and the burger. How did you do? It's a harder test than you might think, and we have to give Ben Henry credit. Math quiz. It's one thing to have a good memory, but it's better if you can use it for a purpose. That's why we love this very tricky math quiz, which was created by Danielle Finger and put on the PlayBuzz website. It was so fiendishly tricky, it became popular and was covered by news outlets across the world. It goes like this. Take the number 4 and multiply it by 2. Now add 7 to that. Then you have to go and add 5 to that. Then divide that number by 2. Are you keeping track of this? We hope so, because we aren't anywhere near the end yet. You now have to subtract 3 from that number, then multiply that by 6, and then you have to multiply that number by 3. Are you keeping up? We hope you are. Now you have to add 17 to that number, and add 59 to the number you got. Then it's time to divide that by 2, subtract 15, multiply that by 2, and then subtract your very first number. We'll give you a moment. What did you get? The correct answer should have been 168. That was pretty tricky, wasn't it? You were so busy doing the sums, you might have forgotten the first number. No wonder Danielle's quiz was a big hit. We really had to make sure that we got it right and that we remembered everything. Number sequence. If you've got a good memory and a talent for recalling things, then you might want to enter a memory competition. These things are very popular, and they attract a good standard of entries. This next memory test is based on something designed to be similar to the questions that participants of the UK's Junior Memory Championships are asked. So, here we go. We'll show you some numbers. Then you have to remember them. Here we go. 1, 4, 9, 71, 18, 72, 23, 12, 54, 31, 78, 92, 55, 14, 16, 21, 33, 67, 75, 8. Right? <laughs> now we've told you them. Here are three questions. Which number came immediately after 18? What's the tenth number in the sequence we just showed you? And which number comes immediately before 16. You should pause the video here if you want to have a bit of time to try to remember. Okay, are you ready for the answers? They are 72, 31, and 14. How did you do? If you didn't do very well, then don't worry about it too much. What you have to remember is that this particular quiz is based on something that is a national competition, so it's going to be pretty tricky. But imagine doing something like this in a competitive environment. We don't know about you, but we would find it very hard. Join the dots. Okay, this next memory test is incredibly difficult. It's a combination of logic, observation, and memory. Take a look at these pictures. There are some red and blue dots. Take a look at them for a little while, because we are going to ask you to remember them a little bit later. Right? We think that that's enough. We'll take the pictures away for a bit, but keep what you've seen of them in your head. While we are on the subject of memory, here is an interesting fact about it. Did you know that there's a link between intelligence and memory? Although for years, people have been using IQ tests as a way to calculate intelligence. There has been research carried out that shows that your working memory, which is how well you can store information and then use it to do something, is actually a far better indicator of intelligence than doing an IQ test, which amazed us, but then we thought about it and it made sense. We hope that you have remembered those pictures from earlier, by the way. Combine the red dots in each picture. And what do you get? Pause the video if you need to. The answer to that is the letter E. Did you get that one right? Well, if you didn't, the good news is that you can try 
expanding your memory. So that's a way of getting more intelligent. Kim's Game. Take a look at this picture, which was created by the people at the UK's National Mountain Sports Center in Plaza Brennan, Wales. What we are going to do is to play a game that you just might have heard of. It's called Kim's Game. The aim of the game is to try to remember as many things from this picture as possible. It's a game that is incredibly popular with scouting groups all over the world. Are you ready to remember? You can write your answers down if you like, but you will want to take some time to remember the objects, so feel free to hit the pause button now. Kim's Game takes its name from Anglo-Indian writer Rudyard Kipling's novel, Kim. By the way, if you recognize Rudyard Kipling's name, he is the man who wrote The Jungle Book. Anyway, Kipling's popularity in early 20th century Britain meant his work was incredibly influential, and that is how the idea of this game got so popular. But we are sure that you are ready to check your answers. Here's the picture we showed you earlier. How many of them did you get? We wonder whether you were able to get everything, most things, or whether you didn't get anything right at all. It's harder than it seems. What goes where? Today, we are talking about memory and about how we can test our memories by playing some games and taking some tests. This next game is no different, and we like it very much. So here we go. Take a look at this picture. And if you feel it would help you at all, make sure to click on the pause button to give you a bit more time. Now we hope that you have been able to remember this picture. We wondered what part of the photo goes in what bit. How about the man's hands? How about his face? And what about this piece of the background? Harder than you thought it was going to be, right? Well, here are the answers. The hands are towards the left of the picture, about halfway down. His face is also in the middle, although in this case, it's a little bit right of center. And that bit of the background is in the top left-hand corner of the picture. We hope you did okay. But with all these quizzes, we have been thinking a lot about these things. How well did you do? Which bits did you find the trickiest? And do you know of any other cool memory tests and quizzes for us to try out? Don't don't be shy. Let us know by telling us in the comment section. And that's all for 9 out of 10 people fail this photographic memory test. If you liked it, then we think your next port of call should be 10 mystery riddles only the smartest 5% can solve. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.